I'm Perry Mogul. I started Perry Sidewalk Cafe under Bush 41 when there was no depression, there was no recession. It was a beautiful life and there were a thousand points of light. And God bless Senator George Mitchell from the state of Maine who fought very hard to get unemployment continuation. So at the end of my unemployment, I received a notice that said, you've basically got two more weeks of unemployment and then that's it, you've exhausted your benefits. So I'm trying to think, what am I gonna do with exhausted benefits? So I said, well, people need to eat even in a bad economy. So I built a small hot dog stand. April of 93, I started. My first cart was a ice cream and Coca-Cola cart. This is, um, I'm operating with the Charbroil True Infrared. This is a commercial grade stainless steel five burner. Um, I can, I can cook 40 patties at once on this if I cleared everything off of here. It's a big grill. Um, hot dogs, quarter pound Hebrew National and quarter pound sweet Italian sausage with roasted peppers and onions. Uh, the special comes with either one of those, a big glass of my homemade lemonade or sweet tea, and your choice of potato chips or a big kosher pickle. And I recommend the kosher pickle because you can get chips anywhere. Hey, how are you? I sell kosher hot dogs. Come around to the front. How are you today? I'm Perry. What are your names? Jim and Joe, nice to meet you. Welcome to my 19th year in the state of Maine. Are you each having a hot dog today? All right, we're sharing. Sharing the dog! <laughs> There's no cutting fee today at most restaurants. I think it's a 650 plate charge for a, for a share. That's fine. Well, you promised me if you get through the half, you promised me you'll tell me how good it was. And if you're hungry later, let me sell you another half. <laughs> You're gonna serve yourself on my condiment bar over here. Leave that right there while you dress it up here. My favorite is the three in the front. The red relish is my secret recipe. It's a sweet and zesty, not hot red relish with a little deli mustard and celery salt. Please help yourself. And uh, save room for apple pie on the grill for dessert. I like the people that I meet on a daily basis and the interaction that I have with folks like yourself and like the folks from Nova Scotia that were just here. Um, it, it's exciting for me. Uh, I always say that uh, it's, they become my extended family. Gotcha. You take pictures of all your customers? I do. I even take pictures of non-customers stopping for directions. Anyone who interacts with me in a positive way, I like to get their picture and chronologically add it to my day. Right. Sunglasses off unless you're under witness relocation. Ten seconds from now, when it starts to rapidly blink, we're all going to say, Perry, and wait for the flash. Are you ready? What can I say? It's, it's been a nice ride, and it now continues in Kittery, Maine. Uh, 18 years proudly serving in Portland. I actually got into my 19th year because I was out in the brutal winter. I uh, had a couple, uh, three... Three, uh, a family of three yesterday. The son had never had an American hot dog. And it's a great deal of pride when I'm the one serving that person who's never tasted American hot dog, a hot dog first here at Perry's. And I tell them after they say, oh, this is so good and so delicious. I saw there's one thing I gotta warn you about. Not all hot dogs are created equal. All right, now I fed Peter Mahegan on Chronicle. Yes, I was on Chronicle. Hold up, open the mouth. Mm. How is it? Nice crunchy toasted bun. The dog is nice and smoky. The onions are awesome. Excellent dog. Guys. Thank you. Excellent dog. Bon appetit. Uh, I'll be here at Tanger One at 283 US Route One in Kittery, right through 
uh, October 31st. If you want a nice kosher hot dog or Italian sausage, Perry's is the place to be. Happy National Hot Dog Month from Perry Sidewalk Cafe in Kittery, Maine. That's the hot dog man, that guy.